107.5 WBLS. It's the Deja Vu Show, and joining me today, we have the lovely ladies of Greenleaf, Lady May, a.k.a. Lynn Whitfield, Grace, or Gigi, a.k.a. Merle Dandridge, and we have Charity, a.k.a. Debbie, well, I think I said it backwards, but anyway, Debbie Winans Low. No, no, ma'am. Debbie. That's my auntie, Deborah uh, Joy Winans. Oh, uh, De- <laughs> I'm you all over the place. Person. I got the whole thing wrong. Okay. All right, thank you. All right. That's, that's a great thing why, why we have technology. I Debbie know. Winans. Deborah Joy Winans. Winans. Debbie Joy Winans. Deborah Joy. Deborah. Yes. Deborah. I should have Deborah right. That's my mom's name. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> Deborah Joy Winans in the building. Hi, ladies. Hey. What's up? Hey. <laughs> now that we got the names correct and everything, <laughs> what is happening, ladies? We're super excited about the return of Greenleaf. Uh, we yeah. are too. Really. Four seasons in. Yes. Can you believe it? I cannot. <laughs> and we're still like in here with the Greenleaf family on the ups and downs and Love. all over. I'm so grateful. No, y'all are taking the roller coaster ride with us <laughs> so beautifully. Yes. Thank you. It's amazing. Uh, so we left off last season with a whole bunch of twists. Actually, the entire season. <laughs> I was like this, because I did binge watch it, watching it, and when I tell you every episode, I'm like, huh, huh? Uh, uh, even my husband was reeled in, and you know, he's all about ESPN. He was even uh, reeled uh, in to uh, what uh, was going on. So it was amazing. So we left off with a lot of stuff going on with the church, you guys kind of being ousted or whatever, uh, Bishop having some issues, you finding out about your, your parental heritage and everything. <laughs> Where do we bring up now? What? <laughs> That's fantastic. <laughs> well, we have my half sister. Right? You don't know that yet, though. Oh. Well, you know, but you, you know. No, you don't know in, it. In love with I whole know sisters. It. Mm, mm-hmm. It's only Ooh, the two Charity. of us know Ooh. it. Charity is wild and out this season. Wait, hold she on. She is. Wait. Wait, wait, is somebody is somebody being called? It's God. Shall I? Is, 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 is Jesus calling? Yeah, she says hello. It's my alarm. <laughs> For something. Let's see. She's Sorry. very popular. <laughs> <laughs> Who's calling you? Oh, it, hello? Hello? Lynn's phone? This I'm is not, this and it I with can't you. Bishop? Find it. Oh, yeah, Bishop. Is it like, Bishop? Hey, girl, this is Lady know. May. <laughs> Where the hell is it? <laughs> That's Maxine Can calling you. Can we just you. take it outside? <laughs> <laughs> just throw it's the bag outside. It's probably Rochelle Throw the bag out there. Oh, Rochelle Cross. Oh, Rochelle Cross. Tell that little sister She's to get gone. so funny. That's so funny. That Talk about outside so forces coming against the green leaf. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, somebody's just trying to <laughs> try to get this. Uh-uh. Well, well, the you know, devil is busy. Okay, <laughs> trying to sabotage the family, trying to sabotage the church, and now we have we have so many things that that are actually banding us together and forcing us to like get into our issues yes. because we have mm-hmm. to work together. So in in that, you know, suddenly, well, we have well. Charity Charity's doing, she's to. wilding out. She's doing something else. Well, the, here's the thing. I, for Charity, because she's already been through so many things, mm-hmm. she's at this point where she wants what she believes she deserves, what she believes she has a passion for, what she believes God has put in her heart. Right. And she is going to go after it. She's making that decision. And it may cause a little wreckage along the way. Just a little. Just a little. Uh, just a little. little. I mean, <laughs> you know, she might have to apologize, maybe. I don't know. We'll uh, see. Yeah, she needs to But apologize. she's going for what's hers. Right. I think she's finding what herself. What she thinks she find, is hers. Yes. Oh, oh, yeah. Come on, Mom. Um, what yes. she thinks is hers. Yes. Talk about it. Talk yeah. about but, it. But all right, let's just talk about it. Come on. How come PK kids think they deserve to be the next pastor of a church? Well, Wait because they've been second. in line. They've been watching mom and dad do everything. They feel like, hey, I've, I've been right under their feet all this time. I, I, I know, know a what something. to do. But you see, though, I think that's a problem that we have just in the church in general. Mm. And the church in general, I think that we need to look at, I mean, sometimes the inheritance just is not merited. <laughs> Oh, that, well, I mean, you, you, you do have a point. You do have a point. That's but I think, I think that people in leadership in church also have to realize that you are still leaders and mm-hmm. you have to step up to the plate. Because if you were, if it were a, uh, a regular company, a for-profit company, then you would have to go through a certain set of trainings to become. Absolutely. Well, mm-hmm. exactly. Yeah, absolutely. You know what I'm saying? So, so the whole green. <clears throat> The whole Greenleaf clan suffers from this sense of entitlement. Mm. All of us. But there's also an, a humility that, that should come with that position of knowing True. you are the instrument. It's not about you. Mm-hmm. Well, you no, know? because that, but that's, I, I, I mean, respectfully, and I don't want to upset, mm-hmm. you know, people who listen. But the thing is, is that when leaders forget that they're there, 
to save souls, right? Not to be idolized. It's not about looking up to them. Okay, respect is always important. Mm -hmm. But however, church just is not about one man's power over a whole group of people, you know? And so I think that the the humility that the the green leaves have to go through mm -hmm. with not only just a man walking in mm -hmm. and and coming in, but an entire white church taking over this black megachurch is very uncomfortable and interesting to look at, you know? So are we going to have those dynamics play out in season four? Yeah, and I really, I, I, here and there, yes. I love that the Greenleafs uh, individually have to dig down deep and look at, you know, almost re-examine their relationship and how they are, how they are walking out their calling from God and, mm -hmm. and, and examine really what, you know, they have been doing and what, what's going on within themselves. Mm -hmm. But that makes it fun. Yes, sure does. I mean, it drama, makes it drama, good. drama is fun. fun. It's relatable, don't you think? It's fun, right? But it does. But you know what it does? It gives you a different perspective of what you think your pastors are. Because we think that they are all are right. glorified but you and never know and what's going on exactly. behind they are but we have to remember Closed that doors mm -hmm. just Absolutely. human beings exactly mm -hmm. and i think that's what greenleaf is done especially for me i I'm, I'm a church kid you know i'm not a pk's kid but i'm, I'm born and raised monday wednesday you know friday sunday yes. Yes. <laughs> and so you look at it and you're like oh these are these are real people too they go through our same kind of things too exactly. and you forget that in, in the process of being a member and attending and, and yeah. doing all this stuff. So they have hard decisions to make just like we do. And Absolutely. you know what is it, it, I, I'm so happy for the fact that it didn't demonize us, the, the, yeah. this family. Mm -hmm. It, in fact, you know, people have compassion for us. They want us to learn. They want us to be, they're pulling for us. Mm -hmm. You know, our audience them. is mm -hmm. really pulling for us to do well it, as, as opposed to, oh, they're bad people because we never even w meant to make anybody bad or point a finger at all. It is really all about just taking a look at people who are just very human. I think the way you Very guys flawed. pull out the characters and, and their their successes, their flaws, the, the deep emotion, I think it right. resonates with everybody. And I'm not just uh, saying that because y'all so are here. Happy. But I'm just, <laughs> I, I love that even the villains, they open up the book on that and ex examine, you know, like with the Uncle Matt character, so beautifully played by Greg Allen Williams, you mm -hmm. know, how, how it, he wasn't just bad guy doing bad yeah. things we looked at how did he get to that place what yeah. were the what were the stimuli that got him there and then how did, did those things kind of um snowball forward into what he was doing else well yeah. yes it's not that he's sympathetic weren't sympathetic to the fact that you know we always have to be very careful about predators yeah right and, and all but at least we take a look at how someone became the bad exactly how somebody became the ugly how mm -hmm. somebody became the good you know we we delve a little bit deeper than just saying hashtag bad mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. it's hashtag human mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and there's something to to kind of open your heart and say i can have a little compassion and also People need to pay attention. Yeah, and I think it's stirring up conversations. That's exactly not what I was just say. with that, but even yeah. with the um, the homosexuality that's in the church Within that the people yes. are not addressing. Yes. that's right there. Let's start the conversation. And you could kind of understand everybody's point of view yeah. mm -hmm. and everybody's limitation right. in how they saw it. You know, because that's what the world is like. It's mm -hmm. not. Mm -hmm. It's not just black and white. That's There's right. a lot of gray areas. There's a lot of of understanding that people still need to seek, you know? Mm -hmm. And yeah. so we're just kind of putting along, rolling out these stories that really, you know, touch people. But because it, it starts these conversations, all of a sudden you see that, that people, the, these people are walking around with pain and we should have, um, we should look at them with that kind of heart and that kind of forgiveness. And I mean, not predators, that's not what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. But you know, I'm just talking about it in general, mm -hmm. you know, if, to, that forgiveness is a hard thing. And you watch the Greenleafs this season really wrestle with that with one another so that we can get to another place. And out of necessity, we have to try to, to see each other's uh, point of view. So where else are we going this this season? Are we going to have any more? I mean, is there going to be any pregnancy? Grace anything? got Give a secret. Tea. Grace got a Grace lot of secrets. Oh, we got some secrets. 
thing it says. <laughs> she always has a secret. She's <laughs> always stirring up Girl, some stuff. Grace has a secret. Yes. Charity has a secret plan. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> Lady May is playing hard to get with Bishop, even though he's back in the house, mm -hmm. and they're trying to navigate all of that. And our young ones, oh, oh my God, Sophia yes. and Zora. They are getting wild trying to feel their oats, trying to feel like well, some kind of... Well, that's what you do at 18. Feel like a woman. <laughs> I know. Ooh. But then how do parents deal with it? Mm. Especially PKs. Yes. And how do you deal with it? And when you have the extra layer of, well, it's also church, looking at young Sophia, mm -hmm. who went through a terrible thing yeah. last season, physical challenge, right? Uh, now knowing that she can't have children. Right. Like, what is her relationship to God now? Yeah, because she just felt that, like she totally just was just done abandoned. with it. And she's yeah. straight up watching her mom in the pulpit holding on to secrets. And see, that's and, what I see right now is being mirrored in real life. Mm -hmm. A lot of the millennials, a lot of young people are kind of steering away from Christianity and from mm -hmm. the church because they feel like there's too many secrets, too many layers. There's not enough inclusiveness. Mm -hmm. Right. Absolutely. So that's that's what's good to look at. Mm -hmm. And that is what is good to explore here. And also, because <clears throat> you have those listeners, your young these stories for these young women trying to step into themselves mm -hmm. as young women, it's so interesting. And they're such wonderful actresses. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. every them. family member, I mean, Jacob and Carissa are going through, you mm -hmm. know, and the, the the PK son, mm. who can he stands in the shadow of his father always. How difficult is that? That's you know? very challenging. Uh, a marriage that that had to be, but are mm -hmm. they ever going to click? Looking at all those things because it doesn't mm. always work. That's sometimes it right. works, and sometimes you have to look at it and say, no, it's not. But we don't know yet. You know. So each and every storyline. Is really good this season. It's so Everyone, good. It's all right. So well, good. give me it's okay. Rich. Give me one episode that we just have to watch. If we're we're doing something, we have to stop. We have to be there. <laughs> I don't want to pick one. I don't want to pick we one. We can't do. I it. mean, they're Can all. We? I, I it's like a ride. Every yeah. episode you gotta take has the that. whole ride. All right. Yeah. But you're going to enjoy the first episode. You're really going to enjoy that. Absolutely. Tonight, tonight. because it really sets up what every character is Jeez. is going through, yeah. and then. I'll just say you see a little bit more of Lady May than you have before. Well, Lady May was coming out of her. Sh oh, excuse me. Hold on. Wait a minute. Yeah. Wait, 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 wait. Pause for a second. What, what, what is I'm Lady sorry. May gonna be doing? She fly. We get it from somewhere. Uh oh. <laughs> you know. You know these old shoe relationships and marriages. You know he's trying to make his way back. But I love the fact that they continue to show the, the oh, love I and the romance, romance. And even the hatred between y'all two too. Romance. But yeah, the okay, way that you still... Keith David not the best TV husband he's ever good. and TV dad. Yes. I mean, and the the energy between the family and that yeah. I have with him, it's just so great because mm -hmm. we can almost fi finish each other's sentences mm -hmm. as the artist playing the roles. That's and, dope. And it just, just shorthand, you know? So you Well, see you're four seasons in now. Y'all should be clicking like yeah. clockwork. Yes, it, yes. It's, We're, it's, a, it's a new level of just... What do you call it? Ensemble. Uh, An ensemble. It's really wonderful. Darling. I just feel like we just go from strength to strength, higher and higher every season, and you're not going to be disappointed. I love it. I love it. I'm excited to see where you guys are going. I want to just go. Can I tour the, the set? I want to go to that house. Yeah, that house I is know. so beautiful. It's a character. <laughs> it's a character in the show. It is. It is so beautiful. I'm like, wait a minute. Here's stairs here. We have the dining room here. And then I'm still kind of lost in where the rooms are and, the, and your bedrooms. They're amazing. Yeah. So where exactly is the location again? It's in Norcross. It's in Norcross, North Georgia. Georgia. The house uh -huh. And the house is, is in Lithonia. Mm -hmm. Oh, mm -hmm. got it. And the it. property is stunning. So yes. all those exteriors you yes. see around the lake and the gazebos, that is right at that house. And that's all one? The dining yes. room. It's, it's one house. It's beautiful. They need to put that on the Airbnb so we can <laughs> have the Green Leaf experience. <laughs> well, <laughs> it's the Allen Institute. Lynn, Lynn um, met them in Yeah, he, it's, Mr. Allen, uh -huh. who built this house, and he named it. The real name of that house is the Rebecca House it's because Rebecca. his... Mm -hmm. His uh, his mother, uh, he grew up at, at was it Arkansas or at, 
Arkansas or mm -hmm. Alabama, mm -hmm. one of the A's, <laughs> and they would pass this plantation every day on the way to where they lived. And he said, I want that house one day. Mm -hmm. Wow. And he built a replica of it and named it after his mother. Oh. Even though she didn't live long enough to live in the house, um, it was built by a black man who wanted to honor his mom. And he uses and it as forward. a conference center. Wow. It's a conference center for, for uh, black entrepreneurship. Well, I need to be down there. Hold uh, up. I didn't know that. Really I mean, can you believe that? Giving them vision for what they can do and bring into this world. What is possible? That's yes. amazing. He said, I built this house so that as part of as part of the, the entre entrepreneurship, so that when they come here, they can see what happens when you think big. Yeah. Love Isn't it. That, you got to have I vision. I love it. Right? Because, and you know, when we're in the house, every time we go, mm -hmm. we say, don't you love this place? We love so it. Love you house. feel the mm -hmm. energy mm -hmm. of family, and you feel the energy of a kind of empowerment, mm. and it's just great. Every time Lady May gets to walk down those stairs, come on, Lady May, and so and you know, it is, it is absolutely like iconic <laughs> stair descension. Oh my God, it is. I stay in my heels and I forgot them when I went back to the hotel. <laughs> I am foot so foot down. But that's foot okay. Down. I'm okay. so mortified. I said, I cannot walk around being oh, that's in flat shoes. <laughs> no, that's fine. It's, it's not if Lady sexy. May can have her heels on. You, Lynn, can have your flats. No, and you honey, still I am not that cushy and comfortable. Oh, okay. That was an accident. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all are a mess. All right, so let me ask you. Seeing um, that everybody has gravitated to the show, have people suggested different topics for you guys? Y'all should do so-and-so and so. Next season, y'all should cover that. Have you drawn from actual things that you've learned or seen or heard about within, you know, church families? Well, I've heard a lot about what they want to see the family complete. I've, we've heard a lot about that mm -hmm. and whether or not um, Grace and Lady May are ever going to make up and mm -hmm. be mother and daughter that on Twitter they asked some interesting questions like today, right? Mm, like which one? You... Oh, they asked like, questions like, "Oh, if Greenleaf was to interact with another show, what oh, would right, it be, and what would you say, and what <laughs> characters would it be?" So things like that. But mainly, we get validation mm -hmm. that yeah. what we're talking about needs to be talked mm -hmm. about. That it's that it's we're hitting the pulse. We're we're like on, mm -hmm. you know, hitting the mark. That's Very amazing. validating it's, to to you. They they like they like it. They just say hands. yeah. We need to explore that. I love we it. We need yeah. to talk about that. All right. So I know we're talking about Greenleaf, but outside of Greenleaf, what other projects do you guys work on? Are you doing your business stuff? Are you acting in plays? Are you making your music? What what else is going on? Well, this year we worked for seven months. Wow. Yeah, it mm -hmm. was a seven month shoot. Is so. that a long? That seems long. Is that mm -hmm. for Normal us? Or? Because yeah. we did that. We did eighteen episodes. Oh, okay. Eighteen episodes this year. So now, you know, I'm figuring it out because I realize that I enjoy speaking to people who've supported me all these years directly, mm. Mm. and I have to figure out how to do that. Mm. That's that's my new challenge of okay. what I want to do. Like last summer, it was Napoli ever after. This year, now that we finished, mm -hmm. how do I speak to people and be myself? How do I, you know, mm -hmm. not take on a character? Of course, now, any role that you all have that is really slamming, just come on <laughs> with it. <laughs> By any means necessary, call, call. <laughs> yeah, but, you know, as an actress, how, what platform can I create mm -hmm. where I can speak? to people I care about directly mm -hmm. in my own voice. Because mm -hmm. we never get to do that. Right. We're always mm -hmm. acting through a camera. I'm trying to justify other people's mistakes. I can <laughs> <laughs> all the time. You know? So that's something I want to do. That would be cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, I have to figure it out. That's awesome. You better watch out, honey. Okay, I might throw that yeah. mic. Come on over here, sis. <laughs> we can do I can never do that. How do you do it? <laughs> Come the on way over. you over. Say it. Look, just amazing. do a little bit DJ spiel for me. Yeah, <laughs> yes. yes. oh, I miss Because we're, we're 20 so years much. in with this album. Yeah. Oh, wow. Is it 20 years? That's not true. It is. Yeah. It came out in 98. It's actually 21. Wow. wow. Yes. Wow. And she's just been, you know, doing her thing. Living life. Living mm -hmm. life. Living it's life. Cool, All right, Marissa, what are you up to? Oh, like 
Lynn was saying, we just did seven months of shooting Greenleaf. So um, my last two um, hiatuses, mm -hmm. is, that the, <laughs> is, that, is that the conjugation? That was nice. Um, were with uh, Once on this Island. I was back on Broadway. Mm -hmm. did my sixth Broadway show, which was really fun. We got Grammy nominated. We won the Tony. Nice. And then I went over to uh, Murphy Brown and did my first multicam sitcom, which was really great. And I wrote, produced, started, and directed my first film. So I'd like to do more of that. But right now, my time is about my family and identity and you know I'm gonna take my my mom and my sister to Korea mm -hmm. I had this great trip to Africa before the season and just really getting in touch with my roots and this is a new season for me as you know a, a single woman of color out here in these streets just really finding my voice and um, I want to do that um, and and are you and dating then, Oh, girl, I ain't, no. <laughs> She's I'm dating not. Jesus. I'm, I am dating myself and dating Jesus. That's exactly what oh I'm doing. Goodness. But that's that. it's more of a, a phase of once I find out, once I get a, a hold on exactly how I get the word out about my story, how yeah. I want, you know, to write the book, to create that film and, and all those things. That's the thing that I'm working on. I'm, I'm refilling my artistic well because it's been, I've been going nonstop for quite a while. So mm -hmm. that's, that's kind of where I'm at right now. You're busy. You are super busy. Shaw's trying to do that thing. <laughs> you got to seize the opportunity, right? Uh -huh. Carpe diem. And what about <laughs> you, Debra? Um, actually, working on music. Yeah? Yes! Um, you can ask both of these fabulous women. I started this saying that I don't sing. And so... Excuse me? Exactly. We all knew she was anointed. <laughs> no, I, I did. She I, only I, wanted to act. That's it. Um, so you shut down that portion of your... I never started talent. it. I I was singularly focused on acting. My parents, uh, Deborah Winans and Carvin Winans, um, used to take us to the movies every weekend. We do double features, mm -hmm. and I would just look at the screen and say, "That's what I want to do." Mm. And so when I started college at Wayne State University in Detroit, Michigan, shout out three one three, I got my BFA there. That was my whole focus. Um, and then I moved to LA and I got my MFA from Cal Arts in acting. And that's all I've ever wanted to do. Mm -hmm. And so when this required singing, it was kind of like a, whoa, I'd never recorded anything. And um, so it, that was hard for me. It was a sink or swim kind of situation. Really? And Uncle BB came Isn't that in incredible? And did the first few songs for the first few episodes. And when I tell you, he wore me down. He knew I had never recorded. I went to the bathroom and cried after like the second song because I said, this is so hard. Oh my God. Um, but he knew what was in me. Mm -hmm. And, um, and even my husband has, has pushed me in ways that I just thought, I, like, I thank God now that they were able to see my future before I really could, because yeah. I could have missed it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, and so now I'm at a point where music keeps coming up. It keeps coming up. And I keep saying I don't sing. And then I think, wow, that's a slap in the face to God. Yeah, if that's you have a that gift, gift that he's given right. you, Amen. then it's not for you. It's for the world. And so you don't get to say, no, I don't do this. You got to do everything he's called you to do. And whatever doors he opens, you step through them. And so I'm finally saying yes and trying to step through them. So yes! Happy. And are we that's also amazing. happy? And there's a single coming. There is a single Look coming out. Look at your publicist out. over here. <laughs> single coming out called When I Rose. Um, we did it on the show. Well, we did a different version of it on the show, um, but we love this version, and so it's coming out, I believe, next week, When I Rose, and uh, we're super excited about it. That's dope. Go, girl. <laughs> so this show is actually putting you into a whole other lane with your gifts. Mm -hmm. They say your gifts are going to make room for you. Like, seriously, Amen. you can't... That's the word. You can't stop it. Yeah. That is amazing. <laughs> That's amazing. And speaking of the singing and everything on the show, do you guys have any any other artists or anybody that's going to be stopping by this season that we'll look forward to seeing? Ooh. This season. And if y'all well, need me to come, freestyle. Know, what, yeah. hey. Oh. Listen. Listen. Oh. We should have known. Hey. You know what happened this season because hey. of that. Hey. But um, this season, because Harmony and Hope has taken over the church, mm -hmm. mm, there are yes. things like banjos in the pool. Oh. <laughs> look at 
Yeah, clutch them pearls. Clutch them pearls. Girl. Doesn't that make you feel a certain way? Oh, my goodness. So, but what does that mean to the members? How are they going to feel? You have to see how it's navigated. But so we're, right, this season, what happens is that because the church has been to, a lot of what happens happens at home. Ooh, okay. A lot of what is figured out, a lot of what they're doing, all of the planning, all Mm. of the, a lot of it happens at home now. Mm-hmm. So gone with the stilettos. Yeah. <laughs> the pencil skirts. <laughs> and, uh, well, you know, it, it, but it's different. You you see a whole different side of this family. Mm. Mm-hmm. But you still have the reputation as the green leaves and still have the, the respect in the community. Yes. Right? It, and I find that it's a fine line for Grace because she has to carry out the family's agenda, mm-hmm. but she also has to, you know, try to dance with the devil here and make space for the 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 church, the congregate the congregants. Yeah. You know, that that when I mean, we've all seen that situation where churches merge and you want to make sure that they, you know, this has been their home for decades Mm -hmm. that they feel taken care of. And there's also a storyline about a, um, you know, the the church camp for the kids of uh, of Calvary Mm -hmm. and how they want to do away with that. And this is a place where the kids of color can come and worship God and be be kids of color and and embrace Mm -hmm. their identity and their culture. And we have to try to protect that as well. All right, so we're going to be in for a huge uh, roller coaster ride this season for yes. season yes. four. That's an understatement. Yeah. <laughs> and tell us when we can catch Greenleaf. Woo, Tuesdays, 10, 9 Central on OWN. Tonight is the night, y'all. Tonight is the night. Yeah, it Tweet. was Wednesday. It has changed to Tuesday. Tuesday. Yeah. So reprogram Tuesday, same everything. Same time on yes. Tuesday. And tweet yes. with us, hashtag Greenleaf, and be vocal yes. about it. All right, we will. <laughs> if you see something from WBLS, let us know. We're going to be talking to you, okay? Absolutely. We're so great. Yes. Absolutely. Thank you. Ladies, thank you so much for stopping by. Thank, thank you, you so and much. And y'all have to come back a little bit later to fill us in on the rest Absolutely. of the stuff that's going on. Yes. Thank you. Round of applause. Yay. Woo! Green leaf. Tonight is going down. It's WBLS.